ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Frostpunk. Or welcome back to Frostpunk, I should say. I am the Alchemical Rabbit, and we are progress progressing pretty well right now. Our biggest limiting factor is really just metal. Uh, we are producing it about as fast as I think we can, however. So we'll continue to enjoy that. We do have a lot of refugees coming, and that means we are probably going to have to build yet another uh, facility for housing them soon. Now, we took all those sick people on. They are almost all in medical care. So, that is good. We have nobody with chopped off limbs. So, we have a step up on Tesla there. So, our scouts have almost reached the next group of refugees. Very good. We have so much damn food. Um, Alright, resources. Let us get to the gathering. Not the gathering posts, but the storage depots. We're just going to build those. Put one for coal, one for food. I am aware that we are very much still full up on wood, but that's a little bit less of a concern. Alright, now with that ready. You are not make. Why are you not making automatons? Make the automatons. Okay. Uh, they will do that tomorrow, I guess. Uh, research, however, should still be going. That never stops, guys. Additional scouts, that's all good. Advanced heaters, we don't need that. Coal mining. We might. Advanced steel works. Immediate. That, that was an easy pick. I was like, what should I be focusing on? And we found it. All right, emergency 24-hour shift over here. You guys know the drill. You are research. You don't get to rest. At least I'm picking a different building this time. Um, there, and let's continue to get food rations stored up. We're going to need them. You may not believe me, but we will. All right, we've almost cured everyone from that refugee group. Ah, the second wave. Another huge group of refugees has arrived. They're in even worse condition than the previous one. Many of them victims of frostbite. They're all talking about a huge storm coming from the south. Nansen led us north because his years exploring the Arctic taught him to survive here using natural resources. Nobody could have guessed what was coming, though. Should we let them in? Yes. All of them. And yes, we are going to have to cure them. Uh, we will need a day, though, and we will need more housing. All right, five more houses, huh? I think we can actually fit that. One, two, three. So that's three. Uh, we will need two more. I do think there is space for them, though. All right, you guys have returned home. There's another group of refugees. Go get them. Actually, we are actually, yeah. Just go get them. It'll get them in faster. It'll be better for everybody. Um, I know. I should be going for the cheaper house research. All right, we still need two more houses. Let's make sure we get those in. Boom. All right, that should be enough housing for the second wave of refugees. The third one is on its way. We'll deal with that when it gets here. Uh, Storage-wise, we are still very full, but we are going to need that advanced um, steel production first. All right, the advanced steelworks is now complete. The advanced steelworks... That is fine. We'll go there. All right. So we'll just need another uh, 30 steel, which is a little slowed down. We're not doing research at the moment because we are stockpiling resources. All right. So both of those are complete. Um, are we ready for extra rationing? We are. Let's just dump food onto all the sick people and the people missing limbs. It will hopefully help. All right, they are getting extra rations. Coal mining might be good. Charcoal kiln bellows might be good. Food, actually. There's the cheaper housing. Not really much use to me now, but... Infirmary checklist, definitely. How much was that? 30 steel. Okay. Good thing is with these advanced uh, steel construction buildings, we'll actually get that so much faster now. Uh, medical checklist, go. Alright. 
So these guys will actually be ready for another foreman soon, which probably means the steelworks will too. I'm just going to wait for both the steelworks to get done, and then we'll throw a foreman. Uh, in the meantime, let's go ahead and get these workshops operating really damn fast. Love it. Uh, wood, we are good. Everything else is actually looking decent. Alright, we are about two days off from the next frost. Go ahead and place a form in there. And a form in there. What are the so the efficiency of these places is 119% now, 24 hours a day. Which, I will be blunt, is pretty good. Now, because of this, we haven't been building automatons, but... Not too worried. Now, we are apparently short housing, which is something I missed. My bad. Um, where could we potentially fit them? I think we're going to have to build another heater, maybe? No, because there is technically space up here by the robots. Let's see if we go there. What happens here? Is that a bad spot? Probably is. And... Ah! One building must always be going through research, guys. We have talked about this. Please finish. Thank you. Oh, discontent rose. No, it didn't. You guys know the rules. We have to heal people faster. Hothouse insulation ain't bad. Coal mining could be better. Yeah, at this point, we're sort of at the... I'm more looking at what the final tier of upgrades are and making sure we have everything prepped for them. I don't think we need these steam war drills. But coal mining... While we are fine on coal for the time being, I would rather stay there and have a ridiculous oversupply compared to not. So to that end, two more coal supply depots. I think we're good on food for pretty much the rest of the game. Uh, Resource-wise, we are still generating a crap ton of stuff. Uh, it does look like we are about to hit the other refugee group. The third group of refugees is here. They're on the verge of collapse. Exhausted by their journey, and by tending to the gravely ill and injured with them, their leader, Nansom, isn't among them. We're evacuating everyone we can, but many stayed behind with those who were too ill to travel. Nansen among them. God have mercy on us. The great frost is coming. Everyone is welcome. I know you're all sick. What looms ahead? Sir, now we can clearly see what the refugees were running from. The great frost is coming. We have to prepare. Our scientists say that they can calculate the severity of the storm from observations. They just need a day or two more to prepare their instruments and install them in the beacon. Now notice, we have unlocked new places to explore. So we are going to go for them. So these are theoretically sort of where those people came from. So we are going to make sure we return to our city. We are going to build up that second group of scouts. Second group of scouts is going to go to the Deep Hollow. So we are back to exploring. All right, I've been saving this little spot over here for more housing, and it looks like the day has come. Something like that. And then we are immediately going to go to houses and go one, um, two, three. With the intention of putting a guard station here. That is good. And then let's go to the fighting arenas, who is currently not covered. This area is not very well covered at all, actually. So... They will get a brand new fighting arena. And then let's go to heating and ensure that you boys stay nice and toasty. Yeah, a fair amount of overlap. Dig it. Now, to this end, do we have any redundant... We have one over here, one there, one there. Yeah, they're pretty well spaced out. I might be overlapping with the main generator a tiny bit more than I really need to be. But I'm okay with it. So let's go check out the factory. We are still waiting on resources for the automaton. 
Um, but otherwise, I think we're okay. Yes, order. Sabotage. An agitator has been vandalized. Someone removed a part from it and wrote, Stop squeaking all day on its base. Well then, we should catch them. Eh, eight hours. Eight hours ain't that bad. Just give them their break. Be kind. Eat her on. People work. Um, so otherwise, I think we're good over here. Uh, we do need more coal storage. And you want know more coal storage. I think food-wise we're okay. Uh, Book of Laws. Do we want to have triage available? Probably. We have enough sick. Guys, I'm not using it yet. Could you get your hope back up, please? Thank you. Food. No, we are not triaging everyone. Thank you. All right, let's just check our temperature gauges, see if we have any heaters on that really aren't necessary. We are aiming to have yellow in everything, so... Yeah, I don't think we can turn any of them off yet. Turn off... Actually, yeah, we can turn off these medical facilities, at least until the next frost comes. Perfect. All right. Turn that off. All right, that will help our heaters. Unfortunately, yeah, the guard towers are just always cold, so... I think we're good there. Now using a bit less coal. Yep. So, let's see. Still missing a house, huh? Okay. We can we can work on that. One more house. Um, did I not place a heater? I thought I did. I guess I didn't. Alright, with that in mind. Oh yeah, I really didn't. Oops. Go right there. Okay, that's... Okay, so that's what they were still building. They were building that one. Alright, so just cancel that. Uh, build the final house. Someone is hungry, which is very weird. And coal mining has been upgraded. Good. Charcoal kiln bellows, I am thinking, is for the next... You know what? More raw food. Let's just completely mock this game's uh, difficulty curve. I say that, and then I'm going to somehow lose. Okay. Going in there. Speed up time. Let's see, why are there people without a house again? Alright. Are you guys, like, having fights or something? That may be what's happening. People are being disgruntled with each other. Uh, place another house there. That should secure things. Um... Where are all of our medical facilities? Let's go ahead and fast forward that a little bit. Agitator has been repaired. Love it. All right. We are going to go through all of our medical facilities and just dump food on them again. Not triaging. We're not triaging. We're just feeding people copious, copious amounts of deer meat and lichen. That's good. Um, where is our factory? This place has gotten so, like, smoggy. Not smoggy, but steamish. All right. One automaton can work there now forever. Let's go ahead and start building the others. Now, with that, uh, we'll be able to put an automaton here and actually be able to turn this thing off. Actually, we'll switch it down to range one immediately. So, how long will you take? Not long, it turns out. Get to efficiency. Another research is done. House redesign. We don't need it to be any cheaper. We've already built them all. So, we will go to that. Next thing we will research is actually the... Yeah, next thing we're going to research... The... Just... Why are there 13 people without housing? Okay, seriously, why do I keep ending up with more and more people who need housing? This is starting to worry me. Um, Alright, over here we have room for two more. Please stop. Stop breeding or whatever you are doing. You know, speaking of that, where are we breeding? Three people have died. Three people have died in this 
environment. I am quite proud of that. Thank you very much. Medical facilities are getting to work. I just want to see that red cross go away, and it did. All right, we have a new automaton. That new automaton is going to go work here. How are we doing on workers? We want to try and get automatons into as many workhouses as we can. And I think, with the exception of medical, we have that covered. Good. All right, you are waiting. The terrain dro suddenly drops here. Those people must have fallen into this hole while esca escaping the incoming storm. At least half of them didn't survive the crash, but it seems we could rescue the wounded. Bring them. It's only 19 people. Hopefully we can get them. Oh yeah, yeah. It's cold out there. You guys know the deal. Yes, you still have to work 24 hours, and yes, I will still keep put pressing that to get rid of discontent, and yes, I see that it is still slightly there. Which means it is that time, once again, lock him up. Bam, bam, checking for other fractions. Nope, looks like we are in fact good. All right, with research at least progressing decently. Yes, my friend? Oh my. Sir, a man is here to see you. He says that his daughter ran away after the news of the storm spread. He wants to borrow a scout sled and go after her. She's a big girl, but she's always very impulsive, and she scares easily, the father explains. I must find her before she's lost for good. She's all I have left. Equip him for the journey. Good luck to you. New automaton has been built. This automaton we are going to put to work in the medical facilities. Speaking of, let's actually make sure that we have that going. So that is now the second medical facility. Um, we can't put them in guardhouses. Can we put them in hunting? I didn't think we could, but that would be kind of funny. The kiln, here we go. That's definitely one where we needed it. Um, yeah, so because of that... Interesting, because so all of this has robots working in it now. So that's good. All right. Well, we'll take it. might go for more storage. Let's unpause. Go to the scout sled. More survivors. All these people are deathly ill. It's a wonder that they're still alive. The snow burrows are only a little less freezing than, than the surrounding ice wastes. They won't last a day. Bring them back. Alright, so that's going to be four more houses. And as we can see, more places are popping up. Alright, so what we're going to do is come over to this area. Let's check our radiuses. All right, we have a little bit of heat here. So what we're gonna do is place them like so. All right, I believe that's all under a guard tower. Let's see the fighting arenas. There you go. And we'll even put one over here to make sure this area is a little more covered to help with that discontent because we have seen it spring up once or twice so far. Um, should we be building more storage? You will survive this. Calm down. Pausing. We are upping to temperature 3. Now, temperature 3 is where resources start to, to sort of bleed away. Four more storage facilities. Two for food. Two for coal. Alright, so those are in progress. Lots of food is arriving. Alright, automated prototyping is engaged. This is top tier. House insulation. We are going to want that immediately. What else do we want? Advanced coal mines. Great. Coal thumper. Meh. Um, automaton. That continue to cheapens them. Get them almost up. Yeah. 
generator range, generator power. Yeah. All right, we are now at tier three. We still are running a stockpile because I am a little OP at this game. So, and that's not true. I'm actually quite terrible. All right, next up for research, we will go for... Yep, let's just go for, just get automated, uh, get the automatons even stronger. Bam, more people have returned to our city. They are injured, but they are immediately getting medical treatment because that is how we roll in New London. More food rations, and with that, we have more storage available. Why are you having trouble? Hopefully that's a little bit better. All right, they are building that road. You are waiting. All right, uh, continue to go for the far ones. Camp Meteor. Because when the frost gets here, we'll hit the, the closer ones very fast. So we have done that. Two more automatons. The more that we build, the safer we become. Nothing's ready to get hope up yet. That's okay. We're not doing the uh, really annoying things. Um, you are doing good. You are doing good. All right. I think everything's all right. We have enough housing. We have enough medical. You know, to the point of medical, because I know we're bringing more refugees in. Let's just get this place well fed. Perfect. Okay. So things are looking okay there. Research is progressing. Alright, the automatons are even more efficient than they were before. Uh, we could even get them better. Ah, yes, let's get that beacon lens. That's what the uh, quest wanted us to do, so we could actually see what's going on in the overworld. And I know I've probably been ignoring that. I think that's actually going to reveal more scouting locations, too, which is mildly annoying. Um, let's see. I believe... We could get even additional scouts. We might do that next just to cram more people outside. Um, increased efficiency, please. We need this research. How are we doing on temperature, by the way? I know it's quite cold out there. Uh, you're being manned by robots, so I don't care. Uh, you will be soon enough, and we'll turn off your heaters. Are you being worked by robots? No, but you actually don't need that. Yes, you do. You get blue. Okay. So, yeah, we'll keep those two heaters on. Uh, you do need that, because otherwise you turn blue. Yeah, so we're turning back on all the heaters on anything that's blue. I missed doing that before. Um, you guys are actually getting cold. So, we do that. You can't sign robot. We can assign robots to the workshop. That changes some plans. I hadn't actually realized that. So, uh, yeah, we're doing that. Alright, so... That's fine. More people. They go immediately into medical. We are still good. Um, you can go to Camp Compass. And... Sounds good. Robots are in progress. Ah, steam cores. That's what we're running short on now. That actually makes a lot of sense. All right. So now that we know that that's going to work that way, get a robot in there. Permanent research. Excellent. We do have a law available. I don't think we really have a need for any of it. You know, we do have a little bit of a problem with discontent. Let's go ahead and get some brothels up in there. That helps, yep. But we will immediately restore a bit of hope with propaganda and guard patrols. You will notice that it is starting to get less effective. We're still at full, though. We are still at full. Oh, old vices. I know, I know. It's a little... It's a little... Skeezy, but... A few more workers... Oh, is that the problem? Did I arrest all the workers here and that's why that everybody left? Or everyone was getting grumpy because it was understaffed at the bar? <laughs> Took a while to order drinks. Alright, so bam. Alright, the lens is complete. 
Um, and all right, so that's the storm off the coast. Ah, it's sweeping in from that side. I see. All right, research. Additional scouts, like we said, just in case some more places do suddenly appear on the map. I want to make sure we can get to them. Uh, still short on steam cores, but I am okay with that. We have at least one research going. Prepare for the storm. So the scientists couldn't believe their eyes, but they've double and triple checked their calculations. They say the strongest winds of the storm will cause the temperature to plummet beyond anything we've ever experienced. Hunting will be impossible. The plants in the hothouses will freeze, and everyone left outside the city will die. And so will we, if we can't heat our homes properly. Boy, our homes are fine. Like, we just have to go save some people from some uh, icy crevasses, it would appear. So where are these icy crevasses? Oh, the one that's very close to us. Ha. Huh. Not a worry. We already have saved the other ones. Uh, we do need to get overdrive couplings and power. And apparently we need even more food. Interesting. Okay. Apparently I took too many people in. Yes, all of this is going into food. Oh my god. Alright, so that is going there. It's quite cold. Everything is a little disrupted at the moment. Uh, yep. And with that, that will be our third scout team. And the third scout team is now ready. Let's get them going. Go save those refugees. So with them, we are going to end up needing to build more housing. But we have some space over here. And actually over here, so not a huge problem. Um, research for food. We are basically getting food as fast as we really care to right now. Yeah. Ah, more efficiency in the hothouse. Uh, that is actually a good idea. So yeah, what we'll probably do is also assign... Tempted to put some of the robots that are over here on metal. Yeah, I think we will. So, this sucker, we are going to upgrade his range. We are going to take this boy offline, put robots in, put a 24-hour notice in for it. Sorry. Uh, put him there. That will now give us two robots on 24-hour efficiency for research, which we kind of need. Alright, that's another research complete. Uh, hothouse research, let's get the houses insulated. Meanwhile, over here, lots and lots of food rations. I think, let's just go four to be overly cautious, and then more coal storage. Love it. Uh, next thing, we might get a little bit more storage for metal. We do have four prostheses, just ready and willing. That is good. Uh, we have no extra guys, but we are building another one, so we'll be able to get that coal production fixed up soon. So, let's see. How long does it take? To okay, so that one's almost done. Bam. All right, cool. With that automaton built, we can put him back there, and we can get those workers out of the factory. Sorry, guys. I know we scared you with that 24-hour shift thing. Trying to get to the freaking uh, steam hub here, and there's always a guy on it. Or terrain. All right, um, back to range one. Are we on economy? Still producing way more coal than we'll ever need. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think that is a good stopping point for this episode. We are entering the end game now. As we can see, we have already lost multiple locations, including Tesla City soon. So we actually aren't going to get any more of the uh, robots in. Annoying, but I think we will survive. We just have to be careful about spending food rations now. Yeah. Because we still can't send anything over here. No. Nope. All right. So it's really just going to be about food. Camp Meteor. God, we found more places. Scattered Convoy. 
get it. Uh, it did just occur to me, and if you've been yelling at me in the comments, I apologize. We are going to soup. We need more rations, because that will produce 25% more rations. Sora, a woman, has come to plead with you. She wants more food rations, but the cooks say that she's already received her allowance. I beg you, Captain, the woman says in a trembling voice. Your men mean well, but they must have made it been mistaken. I need two rations. Sure, there you go. Have some rations. All right, ladies and gentlemen, with that note, we are going to call it. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Until next time, I have been the Alchemical Rabbit, and I'll see you later.